rear leg room is also up by 1.6 inch and despite the lower roof and non-reclining seat back, someone 6 foot 3 still has plenty of headroom below the standard panoramic sunroof. The previous model wasn't particularly popular with parents, 75% of buyers were sans child, which probably explains why you can no longer get the integrated child booster seats. Instead, every XC60 gets an underseat tray for storing tablets or, possibly more likely, hiding garbage. Up front, the modern design is hard to distinguish from its pricier siblings. The main visual difference is the sliver of metal or wood that snakes its way under the air vents and senses touch screen, ending on the passenger side above a little Swedish flag embossed in the adjacent metal trim. The inscription trims light colored open pore driftwood is particularly nice. However, we'd caution against opting for the upgrade Napa leather in lighter colors, it absorbs denim dye like a sponge. Volvo is aware of the problem, but in our experience with low mile test cars at least, the standard leather better resists the dangers of Levi Strauss and company. Really, though, the differences in quality between the XC60 and the 90 are seemingly negligible. Volvo certainly didn't cheap out on feature content, either, as even the base XC60 T5 at $42,495 comes with LED headlights with Thor's hammer accents, 10-speaker audio, a power lift gate and Volvo's 9-inch senses touchscreen. The latter has been upgraded to always show four main tiles, keeping audio, navigation, and telephone buttons on screen to prevent going between menus. They even remain, along with the always-present climate controls, when standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are in use. Going between the OEM and Apple, Android systems can be an exercise in frustration in virtually every other car. Perhaps most impressively, though, virtually all of Volvo's latest safety tech enhancements come standard, including a low- and high-speed collision avoidance system that detects pedestrians, cyclists and large animals. Not only does it automatically brake when needed, but unique to the XC60, for now, it also helps the driver steer at speeds between 31 and 62 miles per hour also standard or a driver in attention monitor and an advanced lane departure warning system that can automatically steer to avoid oncoming cars. Blind spot warning, the park assist automatic parking system, and Volvo's pilot assist adaptive cruise control with steering assist are optional. Indeed, you get an awful lot of car for your money in the 2018 XC60. To get the same standard infotainment and safety tech on an Audi Q5 or Mercedes-Benz GLC 300, both of which have comparable base prices, you'd have to spend a lot more on additional options that would raise the price by as much as $10,000. That gap disappears when you slather on equipment, though as our T6AWD inscription test car with virtually every available option would likely hit the register at $60,640, a comparably low to GLC 300, admittedly with less power, would be about the same price. A Q5 would be a few thousand less. But no matter the dollars and cents, the XC60 should definitely be considered alongside the pair or anything else in the segment. It has the equipment space, quality and safety to be considered a smart buy, along with the style and character to make it an impulse one. Just don't expect many surprises, 